We are in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. Texas Western and El Paso legend Willie Cager has died today. UTEP confirming this news earlier this evening. Cager dying at the age of 81. And she was a member of the 1966 national championship team that broke barriers by having the first starting five with all black players. A team that today is celebrating the 57th anniversary of that championship victory over Kentucky. But Cager, a New York City native, made El Paso his home and dedicated his adult life to the borderland, even with a mayoral run in 2017. We have ABC7 sports reporter Rachel Phillips, who's sitting down with an El Paso athletics expert to talk about how much Willie Cager meant to UTEP and El Paso. I'm joined now by Wayne Thornton, who has been heavily involved in the El Paso sports community for decades. Firstly, Wayne, thank you for joining us tonight. I know it's a, a tough night for you. Can you just tell me a little bit about Willie Cager and his legacy? The legacy of Willie is unbelievable. You know, what he's accomplished, what he has done. Um, you always see him and you see that smile, a little fist bump and a little laugh. And he always had something kind to say about somebody. Never, ever changed that emotion. And that was a good thing about Willie because unfortunately he was confined to that wheelchair for many, many years after uh, the terrific season they had. And yet his mind was always sharp with being good to others. And if you can get a good gift from Willie Cager, be good to others, because that's what he was. What does Willie Cager mean to you and, and what he did back when he played at UTEP in that 1966 team that went on to win the national championship? Well, you know, I didn't see that game uh, live or anything like that because I was in Virginia but we came back to El Paso later after that. But when I was in Virginia, I had lived in Fort Bliss. And when I was in Virginia and the, the miners were moving up, moving up, moving up, getting the championship game, everybody was saying, this team's not going to win, this team's not going to win. And I said, no, they are going to win. I know those guys. You know, I know that city. And they won. And then getting back to El Paso and being able to see those guys, because we used to play Sundays at Bowie High School with Nolan Richardson and all the fellas and Bobby Joe Hill. And Willie would be there, too. He was, the, to me, the original shake and bake guy on the court because Willie could do it all. I mean, the move and the groove that he had when he got the basketball in his hands, you never knew which way he was going to go. But that smile, that energy, it was so great to be around him and around those other miners as well that played in that great team of 66. And then as time evolved and then Willie got involved in the community and all the things he did for the youth in the city, working with the schools, working with the school, different areas, you could see he was special. And my phone's blown up all day because of, uh, unfortunately, his passing. That just shows you how much people love Willie Cager. You've mentioned, I guess, how much you loved his smile and, and how contagious it was. What is your favorite memory or interaction that you had with Mr. Cager? Two different ones. One was on the court itself. Uh, like I said, I used to try to get in there and play, even though I knew I shouldn't be out there with these guys, because you got Bobby Joe Hill, you got Willie Cage, you got Nolan Richardson, you got all these big time guys out there, and here I am playing with them. But one time I got the ball and I got to be on the same team as Willie and as Bobby Joe Hill. Now Bobby Joe Hill, to me, is an unbelievable guard, and he he is somebody that you just respect all over. And they'd be on the team with those two guys for that particular time. We're just playing five on five, right? But then Willie gets the ball, and, you know, he could go to the hoop very easily and score the basket. But he says, hey, take it, Junior. You take it. He gave the ball to me and let me score. And I say, hey, I got an assist from Willie Cage. That was really cool. The other time was the fact of recently, really, uh, but in the last year, you know, everybody sees him at the minor basketball games. And we just got a chance to just sit back and talk back and forth. And he talked about all the times about women's basketball and how it's grown and how people watch it. And he talked about his 66 team because unfortunately a lot of them are passing away. And he talked about the fact that nobody believed in them for what they could do. And I told him, no, Willie, you guys knew. That's all that matters. You guys knew. And he looked at me and says, you know what? You're right. We did know. And look at now. Uh, his legacy will be forever immense in the fact that they not only won that game, but they won the world in terms of racial uh, overtones that were so present in that time. And that yeah, Willie Cager, that's a bad dude. You mentioned that 1966 team, and obviously it's the, 
57th anniversary today of when they won that game, which so happens to be the day that Cage also passed away. What do you think about that? We don't know when we're going to leave this earth. The man above will make that determination. He felt, Willie, I want to see you. And he bought him up. And on this day, who would ever imagine that would happen? And in the city of El Paso, I know we have the final four going on for the men, for the women, but in El Paso, uh, we lost something even more special than the final four. We lost Willie Cager. And we all should take a pause and understand, not that life is precious, we all know that, but as Willie would always do, just be kind to others, because we never know when that precious time is gone and we're gone from this earth. And Willie, we talk about the final four, well, Willie's the final one. Uh, God bless to him and his family, and uh, it's just a tragic time for the entire city. Wayne, thank you so much for taking the time and talking with us tonight about the legacy of Willie Cager. All right, thank you, Rachel, and beautiful words there from Wayne Thornton. And we shared this breaking news on KVIA.com and on the KVI News app just before 7.30 p.m. this evening. And within the past two and a half hours, we have received hundreds of reactions. We are now looking at almost 750 reactions with almost 100 comments. And I wanted to share some of them. One saying, such a lovely man, condolences to his family and friends. Another saying, Coach Cager, rest in peace. My condolences to his family. So hundreds of local El Pasoans sharing their memories and their condolences to the family of Willie Cager at this time. I want to help as many kids as possible, make sure they will succeed in life. That's what's important for me. And this was video of Cager from 2016. He devoted his life to mentoring the children of the borderland. Cager would make El Paso his home after graduating from Texas Western College. He would even become the coordinator of Isleta Independent School District's after school basketball program. And he launched the Willie Cager Foundation in 1989. The foundation would use basketball to teach at-risk children education, leadership, and sportsmanship. 